Hello everyone, my name is Ning Yan and I will be your presenter. So our topic now is uh, about uh, we apply a global model to the computer simulation for similar uh, lead 208 and to lead 208 collisions. So we're trying to make this, make this simulation by using that model. And thank you for everyone coming and enjoying our lecture. Thank you so much. Uh, so first, I want to make some brief introduction. So what is the global model? So the global model is a physics approximation for the numerous particle collisions. So in the paper, we're using the wood saxon distribution model. And it is given by this uh, this formula for formulas over here. And you can understand this formula as uh, it describes the density at a certain place in the atom uh, with certain at certain radius so which means how much density at a certain radius so this is how it's like so now what we're trying to do is what we generate two atoms two lead atoms and we want them to collide with each other see what happens so we assume these items are moving in into the lead direction which means they move in the another one come this way to the so they collide face to face in the lead direction so x y plan will be the cross section plan so now let's we go to how we generate this distribution so the way we generate that distribution is using the histogram method, which is create many bars under the diagram and to try to have a better fit. Uh, it similarized the idea of the Riemann sums. Uh, it's similar to the idea of Riemann sums, so, but we did this to get the get the simulation. So you can see here, uh, this diagram show show everyone. This is uh, our simulation compared with the uh, Wood Saxon distribution. The red line is our uh, our our general distribution you can see you can you can saw that they are extremely same i i say they are almost perfectly fitting each other so i would say we have a very really good fit so this three diagram are general generated to general cross section of the two atom class so in the diagram you can see that the blue, blue circle are from the are, are, are nucleus from the last atom left left atom and the right circle is coming from the right atom so there are nuclear eyes in the center which is not in dash line so the blue not in dash line right circle not in dash lines they are the participants which means they are collides with some nuclei from the other uh, atoms the the circles in the dash lines outside of the outside of the outside outside uh means that they didn't strike with some <laughs> nuclei from the other atom. So we call all these uh, nuclei in not in dash line uh, in the middle, uh, we call it the participants. So the total number will be called the number of the particip participants. So here is the first idea. Uh, now we want to, what are we trying to do? The topic of, of the whole point of our project is try to look is inside deeply into this is so called eccentricity and Larry, uh, try uh, narrowly clarity. So we will talk about. We will talk about that one later. So let let we first introduce about uh eccentricity. So the eccentricity is uh eccentricity, uh is of about n m part is the number of the n part and it's denoted as epsilon 2 and they have this relationship and the sigma here sigma 2 which runs sigma x is the standard deviation on the x axis and the sigma y is the standard deviation on the y axis so this phi 2 we will explain uh, more in more detail later on so please give me a second so this is some some photos helping you to understand what is the uh, eccentricity so on the left side we can see this is eccentricity uh Eccentricity with a very small value, so mid not a bigger eccentricity value and an even bigger eccentricity value. So you can see that you can see that. So these values are uh, the shape of the uh, participants are be be at, begin at a very disordered with with randomly distributed, and then they starting to concentrate to the middle and 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 at the end they almost add up like a bar like a street bar or, or 
or an Oliver, I call the Oliver shape something. So like the Oliver shape. So they become concentrated more. So this is how the eccentricity like. So they, they concentrated as a bar. So this is eccentricity, how likely uh, for the participant to be a bar. Uh, but in, in the other way, we can see that what is a side two? What is side two? Side two is the best feed line angle uh, between the best feed line angle and the mirror mirror axis. For example, if this is mirror axis, this is the this is the this is the angle. This is the best feed line. The angle between will be the side two, which is the angle between here. So this is the best feed line. This is mirror. So angle here will be the side two. Uh, now what? We will also this we will also introduce what is uh, triangularity triangularity. So it will be a very similar idea. So you, uh, compare with the uh, eccentricity. So we have the m par size three. We we come from the diagram. We can tell everyone can tell that uh, as the triangularity triangularity increasing, the shape is much more like a triangle. Uh, yes, more, more like a triangle. So the eccentricity is like a bar or Oliver shape, but now it's look like a triangle. And side two, for side two, we have a side two also the triangle pointing some way. So the side two is the best fit line, the difference between best fit, best fit line and the mirror line, which is here. Uh, it's, it's this angle, this angle over here. Uh, now we also want to do some deeper uh, research on the relationship between these uh, parameter uh, parameters. So first we look at the distribution of the psi2. So there are a thousand of the millions of the collisions. So we make millions of the computer simulations of collisions. So we want to see how psi2 distributed. So now here's the result. We can we can tell easily that for psi2, the 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 angle is almost distributed two sides, so which is from zero to three, so it's, which means it's almost here. It almost went up like here, so it has almost the angle between the uh between between the bed feed line and the mirror axis, so it's it's always here. So it's not a it's very amazing, but it's not very amazing because imagine if you have two articles strike together, it's very likely only the thing in the middle strikes, so which have a more like a shape. Of the of the of a bar, but however, the triangularity shows a different uh, perspective, per, different different perspective. So they are showing evenly distribu distributed. So why? Because when you have a two atoms square together, uh, what kind of a, a triangle it it is struck construct is really re really random. Like you, you can have a triangle like this that. They all are triang they all triangles. So every single triangles are possible. So you possible have very different pair tri triangles. So that's why it's evenly distributed the, the distribution. And we try to find is there any positive correlation between size two and size three and solidity we don't. So then is the absent two vs uh, number of the participant. You can see that when we have very little the number of participants, psi two and uh, absent two and absent three tend to be very big, which is uh, which is makes sense is because when you have a uh, psi two, you only have one nuclear ice. It's obviously it is a bar and a triangle. But if you have ten nuclear ice, it is really hard. It's harder to distribute it like a triangle or a, a bar. But if we tens on a hundred, it, it will be very lucky for them to just distribute it as a bar or just distribute it as a triangle. So you can see the eccentricity drops down quickly as the as the as the participant increasing. Last but not least, we are looking at the relationship between epsilon 2 and epsilon 3. At the beginning, we were assuming that they should have a, a positive correlation, whereas the diagram says no. But uh, we found some similar interesting features over here, uh, which is you can tell that that I think that it, it, it looks like a, a cytho, a piso, Algorithm, algorithm theorem. So it's like uh, epsilon two square plus, plus epsilon three square is never more than one. It look like a, you, you look like a, 
uh, a half circle, something over here. It's very interesting. So we couldn't explain this thing, but if someone else can, uh, please tell us. Okay, uh, that's all of our presentation. Thank you. Bye-bye.